One of the professors here at UTC is facing up to four different charges after his arrest on November 7th. With Mox News, I'm Alexandria Adams. Dr. Richard Wilson is a professor of political science, public administration, and nonprofit management, and has been with the university for 42 years. According to the police affidavit, Dr. Wilson was pulled over at 9.50 p.m. after his truck had been sitting at a green light for an unreasonable amount of time. The officer arrested Wilson after noticing his bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and unsteady posture. Wilson refused to a breathalyzer test but was given a blood search warrant at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. His bail was set at $1,000. Wilson faces charges of driving under the influence, driving without a license, failing to yield to an emergency vehicle, and driving across the center line. His court date is December 2nd. UTC hosted an exhibit, Visas for Life, November 12th and 13th, to honor the heroes of the Holocaust. With Mox News, I'm Emily Kulik. I think that what this exhibit might have to offer students is that uh, you learn about probably an aspect of the Holocaust, or let's say an aspect of the Second World War, really, that you probably don't know much about. That there were many people, including the people you see in these, these exhibits, uh, who helped to save people during the war, helped to save Jews during the Second World War. Mainly these are diplomats, uh, people in official positions who offered visas or other fake types of papers, no, not always fake papers. There were also many people who had fake papers but it offered types of documentation that allowed people to, to escape being deported. The exhibit contained 24 posters of 12 different diplomats and collages of original documents. If students want to learn more about the Holocaust, UTC even offers a class for the spring semester. John Swanson teaches the class and says he has life-changing events planned. Starting uh, next, during the spring semester, I will be offering a course on the Holocaust. Um, that will include a, an eight day, I think it's eight or nine day trip to Germany and Poland. Um, so a study tour is part of a semester long course. So the students will learn, learn about the Holocaust in class. They'll do a research project uh, about some aspect of the Holocaust. And then we will fly initially to Krakow, Poland, uh, and we will visit um, the Jewish quarter. We will visit um, other sites of the Holocaust in that area, including Auschwitz-Birkenau. We'll spend a day at Auschwitz-Birkenau. So if somebody is interested in taking the course in the spring, which includes the study tour to Germany and Poland, um, it, uh, they should know that anybody can take the course. You do not need to be a history major. It's a history course. Uh, it's a 3,000 level history course, but you don't, there are no prerequisites. You don't need to have any prior knowledge. Um, and so it's open to all majors. For more information on the class and cost to attend the trip, students can email Swanson at john-swanson at utc.edu. Welcome Mox fans to your Mox Sports Minute. Let's kick off with wrestling who dominated both of their matches this past Saturday with a 50-3 victory over Life University and a 35-7 win over Shorter University. The men will take a road trip up north this weekend to Annapolis, Maryland for the Navy Classic. Their next home event will be on Monday, December 16th for the candlelight dinner match against Gardner-Webb at 7 o'clock. Our Lady Mox took a 76-65 win over Belmont on Sunday with birthday girl and senior Faith Dupree leading with a game-best 21 points. The women will be back in action at McKenzie Arena on Thursday at 7 o'clock to host UAB and then again on Sunday at 2 o'clock to play Auburn. Men's basketball took home an impressive 108-251 victory over Montreal on Saturday but lost by only four points during a close game against Kennesaw State, placing them at a 2-2 two and two record. The next five games for the Mocs will be on the road, starting with Nevada this Friday at 10 o'clock. In other men's basketball news, new head coach Will Wade has led an impressive recruiting effort, ranking 40th nationally in Hoop Scoop's top 50 recruiting classes. Wade said, it's very rare in recruiting that you sit down and put your list together of four or five guys and you're able to get the guys you want. We were able to do that. Four future mocks signed last week who we will see in the 2014 season. Finally, the football team fell just short in their game against Sanford on Saturday, losing 17 to 14 in overtime. They are still Southern Conference champions for the first time in 29 years, although sharing the title with Sanford this season. The Mocs will head to Tuscaloosa this weekend to play Alabama on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Then be sure to watch the FCS playoff selection show on Sunday, November 24th. 
11.30 a.m. on ESPNU. For all your team schedules, stats, news, and info, check GoMox.com. For your Mox Sports Minute, I'm Ashley Brockman, and as always, GoMox.